Yeah, keep going. Hi, so, Danny. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit late. Um, do I have to come to therapy like every single week? Well, first of all, it's a 55-minute session. It's not a full hour. And what I would like you to do is talk about what, what you're feeling, what's been going on in your life. Feelings? What yeah. Are, what are, I don't know what feelings are. Well, just your thoughts. It doesn't have to be feelings necessarily. It can just be what you've been thinking about lately. Oh. But I do want to talk about the fact that you're late. That's always but a good I've topic. But I've always been late. I, 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 well, we're going to fix that. That's one of the things we're going to fix today. Okay. And what about, like, how I feel? Is that important, or is it just late? Well, you're not going to feel anything by the time I'm through with you, because I'm going to put you on so much medication, <laughs> you're not going to feel anything. But I'm already taking uh, lithium, Prozac, Depakote, um, Seroquel, Abilify. Well, we're going to add to that. <laughs> um, do you think my other doctors should know about all these other medications, or is that i mean can i just consult with it i'll be consulting with your other doctor for you am i going to be hospitalized again no Are don't sure? worry about that you have nothing to worry about like that oh really no 72 hour holds or 92 no, hours not this You're time. not going to call the cops and have them come to my house not and... unless you want to hurt yourself or somebody else no i'm not thinking about that i'm just like okay. i just have some drugs in my car and i was wondering if you can give me a prescription for vicodin because i'm in a lot of pain well, we can talk about that during your 55 minutes. Right now, what I want you to do is fill out some paperwork. Can you but, do that for me? Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. I have to go. I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm done. That was quick. I'm done with my paperwork. Okay. So, um... I don't want to waste any more time. I mean, look, I just... Well, this is all part of your 55 minutes. You know, I'm minutes. only here because the court ordered me to be here. Right. And I, and I got a do you think you have a drinking problem? Well... Let me tell you something. I know I can drink. I'm not. They say uh, you know I got a DUI and I ran someone over, but you know it's like it's not a big deal. I, I know how to hold my liquor and I just drink a little bit every day. And you know people just don't understand. You know it's just. What do you mean by a little bit? Just few, like three vodkas when I wake up, and then oh, okay. I have a few more later on, and uh, go to some bars, get some strippers, and go back home. Oh, that's just the normal thing. Most people Yeah, I mean, do. it's pretty much every day. Um, yeah, beer, alcohol, LSD, a little bit of cocaine in there. Right. And uh, That's breakfast, Just right? a little bit of heroin. Okay, so, you know, get put some heroin in there and that you got breakfast for, for a giant, whatever. Breakfast. Breakfast of champions? Breakfast of champions and I'm out the door. Right. You know, like, I'm doing great. I don't know why other people, they just don't. So the only reason you're here is because you're court ordered? You have no... You're not here on based on free will. Well, you know what? I kind of like coming here because I get to talk about. I'm really about narcissistic. I get to talk. Oh. About, it's all about me. I figured that. I mean, everything is about me. You know, the, I. You know, I'm so. Does the TV talk to you? Yes. Okay. And it's telling me that I need to go get more drugs. Right. Well, we can talk about the Vicodin for sure. That's something I'm definitely supportive of, especially if you're in pain. What kind of what kind of physical pain are you in? Well, you know. My back is really hurting, and so is my knee. Oh, well, and, if it's uh, in your knee, then you definitely need Vicodin. Well, thanks. I mean, look, you know, you're the best doctor. I should, is there any way I can just, like, give you a $1,000 in cash right now and just give me everything from the pharmacy and just, is that a Well, we can deal? talk about that during your 40 minutes, because you've already used up 15 of the 55. Well, you know what? Okay, that sounds like a deal. Uh, let me, is it okay if, what if I brought like 10,000 in, in cash? Like, could we get like more than one pharmacy and get like all the Dexedrine, all the Adderall at the same time? Well, you're not trying to bribe me, are you? $10,000 is not really a bribe. You know? That's just an offer, right? Yeah, it's like more of an offer. Oh, okay, I see. We're just going to negotiate something based on a financial uh, offer. It's yeah, not a bribe. it's not really, it's, it's just kind of like a friendship, you know? We got like a little codependency going thing, you know, and. You know, we're all, everybody's in it to make some money. You're a th By the way, did you fill out the paperwork? <laughs> I told you that 